Coast same final, I think. This year? Yeah. <laughs> well, one in the S12 class now, Killian in the S12, and Alex Portal in the S13. So, this combined event. They're uh, going to come across each other in that final. So, S11, 100 backstroke. And there's the four swimmers for the first heat. So, four in the first heat, five in the second. Gozi from China goes in line number three. Go, nice. Alus Pejatero from Argentina in four. Chicago Ono, world champion last year. He goes in line number five. Matilda Alcaraz Figueroa. She goes in line number six, the Mexican. Pejitero, the fastest in terms of qualification. The Argentinian going in that middle lane there. World Championship finalist in the backstroke. This is very much a specialty stroke backstroke. Yeah, Chicago Ono has had a good start in five, but Pelotero looking excellent through that first 25 meters. She's got a much higher stroke weight. She's moving her arms a lot quicker than the other swimmers do really well to go direction wise straight down that lane rope as well she hasn't been cut just see the tapper there tapper on the stomach she's straight over and back up into her stroke an excellent turn for oh, for Palaturo in that this S11 class we've said so many times the turn the finish the start more important than ever when to set the final way but She's looking fantastic as she goes through 75 metres here. Did a great job to just stay level with that lane rope without even really skirting the lane rope. This is good skills from Pejitero. She's very black out goggles, of course. The S11 swimmer. Let's keep an eye on the clock here. Good swim. 117, 76. That's an improvement on the America's record. Of over two seconds for the Argentinian. Great swim from her. And Chicago Ono in second, 122.03. But in fact, it was Lee Guzzi in second. Just got in in front of the Japanese swimmer in the closing stages there. Chicago Ono in third place and Alcaraz Figueroa in fourth place. Not a bad time from the Mexican, but fourth place in that first heat so she will be waiting anxiously for the second heat but Pejitero looked really good here she did look excellent she just we talked about the this in the s11 heats yesterday and sometimes you just have the perfect swim the challenge the s11 athletes have is mostly in the swim program you do your heat swim and then you look to progress in the final but they, it doesn't work like that for them they don't they're not racing anyone because they can't see anyone but similarly there's so many variables that if if they go off course or one little thing changes they can actually go slow so we quite often see the final swim being won in a slower time than the heat swims go so she get confidence on that knowing she's swimming well but I don't think the S11 athletes get the same level of confidence in their progression to final about the indication of how it's going to go as some of the 